Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and welcome back to my channel Fun with Data Science. So basically in the last video we have discussed about the binomial distribution, right? So today we are going to see that what is normal distribution and with the normal distribution I am going to tell you about the z-score that what are the z-scores and how do we calculate them basically, right? So just let me start with the things and firstly I will let you know that uh, how do we do like make the graph for normal distribution. So basically a graph for normal distribution is a bell shaped graph. Now let me show you that how is it a bell shaped graph. So let's say I made this like uh, you can say x and y axis and a bell shaped is something like this. So basically this is a bell shaped graph. Now basically I'm drawing with my hand. So it's not that much accurate but a bell shape is simply like this only right. Like uh, it's uh, it's like you can say it's equal from the right hand side and it's equal from the left hand side right. So this is a bell shaped and just let me write down y and x here. So basically this is a bell shaped graph and normal distribution is always a bell shaped graph right. So this is the thing. Now in normal distribution as we were uh, like writing about the binomial distribution right we were just denoting that so in simply for normal distribution also what we do is that we simply write x right and this x belongs to capital n now this capital n is normal distribution right and in the brackets i'm going to write mu comma sigma now what is this mu this mu is basically the mean and the sigma is the standard deviation and this is the only thing which i am telling you from the since of the starting videos so by the time you must be you must have remembered that what is this mu and what is the sigma and if you haven't then it's pretty bad you need to just go and revise the videos once more right so here what is this is x is a random variable which i had already introduced you to in this n this n is it for the normal distribution so simply what i wrote x belongs to normal distribution and in bracket I'm going to write that mu comma uh, sigma that is mean comma standard deviation right so basically this normal distribution belongs to mean and standard deviation now here's one formula for the probability distribution function of normal distribution so simply let's say I wrote pdf it's the small form right and you must be knowing it's full form and the full form is probability distribution function for this normal distribution is now let me wrote, write it after that i'm going to tell you one more thing so let's say it is fx is equal to one upon sigma into under root of two pi so just this is under root okay uh, okay right this is under root of two pi into e to the power minus one by two and then in bracket it's something like x minus mu upon sigma whole square now just don't panic here and just see that if you remember this formula well and good if you don't then also well and good there is no issue for remember this from remembering this formula but why did i told you because i don't want to leave any of the topics like unteached right so that is why I just introduced to the for this probability distribution function for normal function uh, for normal distribution and basically this fx this is a formula that's one uh, one upon sigma into under root of two pi multiplied by this dot is simply multiplied right into e to the power minus half and in brackets it's x minus mu upon sigma whole square so it is something like this which like uh, it is the formula for probability distribution function now no need to panic if you don't remember no issues with that right. So this was the thing. Now let me take you to standard normal distribution. So what is a standard normal distribution? Just let me take a different color. Let me write a different heading. Like it's something. Standard normal normal and this is distribution. Okay. So like above what we studied, we studied about the normal distribution, right? Now we are going to study about the standard normal distribution that what is that exactly? So just let me take the right color, red color again. Okay. So now this is standard normal distribution. Now first let me tell you the definition for this. So basically standard normal distribution or uh, like it is a normal distribution of standardized value that are called as z schools z schools that means now let, let just let me write down the definition it is a and i hope by the time you all are also writing with me and if you're not writing then there's like you need to just see this video again and again so what's the need for this just you can write down with me it is a normal distribution of it's like a standardized standard 
okay standardized and if i somewhere wrote the wrong spellings so just i'm sorry for that you can even correct it on yourself right standardized value called as z so we simply call it z or z what say you wish it's like z scores or z scores okay i'm so sorry while talking i just simply start writing values so it's scores right so yeah it's your wish you can call it z z your wish okay so now just let me re repeat the definition that it is a normal distribution of a standardized value called as z scores now if you are thinking that this is the definition for z scores also but no this is not the definition this is a definition for standardized like sorry for standard normal distribution okay now let me introduce you to z scores that is z scores right so simply what i'm going to write here is a definition for z score just let me take a new color you can say a different color so that these two things don't mess up with each other and right yeah right so what is the definition for z score so basically let just let me know let me tell you one thing a z and why i'm putting this dash here okay a z score is measured in units of standard deviation now this is a simple definition for a z score that a z score is measured in units of standard deviation now what is the thing and how do the things work let me tell you more you can say more in more detail right so like here what we have is that a z score is measured in units of standard deviation what does this mean this means that when you are when we are going to find the z score or when we are going to write a z score it is basically measured in the standard deviation now just let me like let me have some space here so that i can just let you and uh, let you tell you okay now just let me introduce you to a formula here that is x is equal to mu plus z into sigma so in this formula you are familiar with all the terms except z so what is this z this z is basically known as z score that what i was talking about this is known as z score this mu is mean the sigma is standard deviation this x is the value and basically this z which i have written here the z as this is known as z score so basically this is a basic formula in which like we find the values of x or even you can find the value of z anything else like if you are knowing if you do not know any one of the term and you know the rest of the term so basically you can just go and find find out the term which you don't know right because you have other values so you can just simply put them and you can find the one but here comes one, one more thing now the in the previous only I, I, as i told you that this x what is this is simply belongs to n and then it's sim, like something mu comma sigma right so as i told you this x was the random variable this n is a normal distribution mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation so this thing is same for this also like simply we write it as this like uh, when we talk about the denotions thing because in the binomial distribution also we have seen something like that right so when we talk about the denotation so it's simply like this okay now one more new thing like uh, let me write that only the mean for now i'm going to use some short forms i'm not going to write whole thing so it's like the uh, the mean for standard normal distribution so i'm simply writing it as snd right so you can just write it short form full form whatever you understand i'm simply simply going to write snd that is standard normal distribution so the mean for standard normal distribution is zero and standard deviation is one so just just see here the mean for standard normal deviation is zero and standard deviation is one right so this is the thing which one more thing i wanted to tell you other than that i have one more formula here that is z is equal to x minus mu which is divided by sigma now the ones 
who must be having a little bit of good mathematics they just have got the idea that from where i got this formula so basically this formula i got from the above one which i have written as x is equal to mu plus z into sigma so what it is it's simply this thing that uh, i'm gonna write this just hold on let's just let me take this picture a little bit more down okay okay i don't know what okay fine right okay no issues just just let me have this right the mean uh, like here what i was telling you that z is equal to x minus mu upon sigma now just let me go a little bit upside and i got a little bit more now here when i had written this formula x is equal to mu plus z into sigma when i transformed with this formula and when i found to find want to find the z score and i transformed so after transforming what i got is z is equal to x into mu upon sigma now how does this happen just let me tell you let me let me take a new color and uh, let let me go for this green now when I, when i simply root x is equal to mu plus z into sigma so if i want to find z so since this z is equal to now this mu will go another side so just it will convert into a minus right so it will just this x will remain on its side only and when this mu i will take this side so it will simply be minus mu right and with this z i am finding i want to find the z so with this the sigma is in multiplication so when it will go another side so simply it will became in becoming division so this is the formula which i have written just simply like this so both the formulas are same and now i wanted to tell you that how i got this so this was using that transformation which i just told you now okay now next thing this was about the formula for finding the z scores that is you can even say z scores now now one more thing if your z is scored okay now just let me raise this and if the z score tells you how many standard deviation the value x is above or below the mean now what does z scores tells us why are we going to like uh, study this so z scores tells us that your standard deviation z score tell that standard deviation like uh, you can say that how many standard deviation now i'm writing short form that is sd and sd stands for standard deviation z score tells that how many standard deviations the value of x is okay just let me give a little bit of space x is above or now let me go a little down above or below the okay below the mean so this is the thing that this z score tells us that how much value that how much standard deviation the value of x is above or below the mean so when we are going to like learn about something so we should also know that what is the use of learning this what does this tell so basically the z score tells us that how many standard deviation the value of x is above or below the mean now here comes the mean and the standard deviation so for finding the z scores we should know mean and the standard deviation so that is the thing now in this video i have told you about the normal distribution standard normal distribution what is z scores formula to find z score and what does it tell after that i have some more notations and a example so i will that cover that in the second video and i mean in the next video which i would be taking so this was all about the normal distribution standard normal distribution and z score so i hope you got the points and if you haven't got you can even rewatch the videos or you can just ask the doubts in the comment box right so this is all for this video till then thank you and bye bye